This is going to get worse. Yeah. Mainly because uh, we have so many people being raised by single mothers. They don't really have any semblance of control. Uh, over, was it 60% of the uh, youth who are female today are on some type of head med? So that Just probably about. also means there's a lot of young boys on head meds that are uh, mentally weak or having problems. And, I mean, you're going to probably see copycats like this for a while. And it needs to stop. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's exactly what we're really seeing because the media has gone out of their way to try to turn the perpetrator of this tragedy into a martyr. Yeah, they're already like upset because some people are misgendering him, her, <laughs> it thing. I- <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is that the person who misgendered Audrey Hale the most was Audrey Hale. Mm-hmm. The text messages that were sent right before she decided to go in and do this were signed Audrey. Her own LinkedIn profile with he, him pronouns said Audrey Hale. Mm. So if you're going to get pissed off about dead naming a dead person. Well, first of all, dead naming really is. A little is, brain dead up here, man. Listen, it is so stupid. Uh, you know, I have, it just warps my fucking brain thinking that if somebody's born a woman and you call them a woman, because that's what they were born as, they get all offended. Yeah. All right. Now, it is not my responsibility to control your emotions. It is yours. Mm -hmm. And when somebody's talking the truth to you and speaking facts and you're getting mad about it, it means you're living a lie. Yeah. It really does. And we we actually got an email earlier from, from a fan regarding this situation here, and it had a very interesting bit of information that I was not... Oh, to. This oh, comes from, a... from Jeff. He said, I had a good theory on the way to the drive thru as to why the him she sla- was slash were op order was not being released. It's a well duh reason. There's something in there law enforcement and FBI don't want to get out because it would ruin their narrative. This is the theory that I heard. Mm-hmm. And it is plausible. One of the children was the daughter of the church pastor, which we know. Mm-hmm. But come to find out, the pastor of that church was counseling the was slash were. The theory is now the was slash were was targeting either the pastor or his daughter, which makes this a targeted hate crime. Since the pastor wasn't there that day, the was slash were went room to room looking for his daughter instead, and everybody else was collateral damage. Yep. It's it's very likely, because from what I understand, her parents were not all about this lifestyle. I'm actually trying to get my hand on this mon- hands on this manifesto. Yes. I'm trying to pull in the Greenberry Express and see if I can get a PDF. Well, copy. just the fact that they refer to it as a manifesto <clears throat> points to this as being an act of domestic terrorism. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, first of all, manifesto is more like uh, like an explanation of why you're doing what you're doing. Slash, probably an op order because there's a lot of tactical shit. There's a lot of tactical stuff in there, I would imagine, because. Apparently, she did recon several other places and decided that school was best uh, because it wasn't guarded. Yep. Just amazing here that, like, the, this article that MSNBC put out, or NBC, whatever it is, I don't really care, they're all the same. Within 10 minutes of police saying that the suspect was Transformer, the hashtag slash hashtag trans terrorism trended on Twitter. It's probably because it was an act of trans-terrorism. Around the same time, Republican lawmakers and conservative firebrand Marjorie Taylor Greene insinuated in social media posts that the shooter's gender identity played a role in the shooting, which it obviously did. And by Tuesday morning, the cover of the Rupert Murdoch-owned New York Post read, I love how they have to point that out, Mm -hmm. transgender killer targets Christian school. We're terrified for the alphabet community here. Kim Spoon, a trans activist based in Knoxville, Tennessee, said, more blood's going to be shed, and it's not going to be shed at a school. Way to twist it around and make yourselves the victims. You were the ones who radicalized this person. Yeah. I mean, they even their group is called TRAN, T-R-A-N, Transgender Radical Activism Network. Radical. There you go. <laughs> It's literally implicit, but if you talk about the radicalization of the Transformers, you're a bigot. Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons we are where we are. Is yeah. um, 
they've got they've gotten all these inroads into our culture because they have successfully silenced everyone with blame, shame, calling them istophobe bigots or what have you. Yeah. We need to get beyond that. It's the summer of love all over again. Yeah. If you're speaking the truth, you're speaking the truth. Yeah. And and if they get mad about it, fuck them. I am so sick and tired of being gaslit. Like they honestly have become so their egos are just so huge, and they become so sure of their dominion over public discourse and thought. They think they can edit the reality that you see with your own two eyes as it's happening. Yep. I wouldn't trust one of these motherfuckers if they told me the sky was blue. I would go out to check. All I can say is um, there's, they're trying to run top cover for this, and you could tell. Oh, it's, it's not really in the media like it should be. They're grasping at straws. Well, and I think that they they want it to go away because it doesn't fit their narrative of the, oh, not at all of the radical right getting violent. And of course, their narrative right now is my guns. Mm-hmm. You don't care about children if you won't let us take away your guns. Says the people who are trying to make martyrs out of a mass murderer. That's exactly what they're trying to do. Who literally killed more people in one shot than trans people were killed in all of 2021. Yeah. They've probably been doing a better job of that themselves. In fact, I know they are, and that was before the jab. Well, well this whole thing, um, it's, gonna be, it's going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yep. All right, because, listen, they're not going to stop. They're going to continue doing what they're doing, and you're literally going to have the, the civilians of this country have to rise up to uh, stop this shit out. Yeah. I mean, if this starts happening on the regular, it's it's only a matter of time before that happens. And yeah. that historically, that's how everything, that's how it shakes yeah. out. Now, I don't want there to be violence, but this this event really needs to be a bellwether event for this entire country. It mm-hmm. does. If you let them gaslight you into sweeping this under the rug, they, it's only going to get much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody should be looking at this and saying, this is beyond fucked up. Okay, we can no longer wait around for this to fix itself, because obviously that's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not. Instead, of course, you know, we're going to go after guns. And I love this graphic here. Gun ownership. The densest population of gun owners is the United States. And then look at the homicides. We're down at the bottom. <laughs> Every other country with, like, next to no guns is near the top. Look at Russia. Yeah. In China. And if you were to just focus this on the United States and then separate it by constitutional carry versus common sense gun control, you would see a similar thing. Uh, here it is. <laughs> but uh, I don't think the uh, that the Transformers really want us to get rid of guns because this is their new thing now. I'm sending you a new meme. Okay. Here we go. It'll I love this. Kill Christ cucks. Behead Christ cucks. Roundhouse kick a Christ cuck into the concrete. Slam dunk a Christ cuck baby into the trash can. Crucify filthy Christ cucks. Defecate in a Christ cucks food. Launch Christ cucks into the sun. Hashtag trans day of vengeance. Uh, you know, the, the uh, definition of vengeance implicitly implies violence, correct? Yes, it does. But you, you, you look, take a good look at this picture. And now look at this one. What's different? Something looks very familiar. What's different? They got the masks on most of them. Like, I know, I know, people are going to be like, "Well, you know, that's that's Islam. That's a religion. They're not religious. Or, 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 they're a cult. They're a cult. Same which, thing. If you boil it down to its basic structure, the whole trans thing is because they believe they were born in the wrong body. That is a metaphysical argument. So I am saying. That person and the ISIS photos are the same. Mm-hmm. And what were we saying about martyrdom? They're like, well, nobody's using that word. Well, here it is. Their name was Audrey Hale. They're a martyr against transphobia from a hateful Christian bigots like you genociding us. We will defend ourselves from you. Where's your God now? Pray for mercy because we won't show any. Now, don't get me wrong. Where? If there was actually genocide going on, then you know, defending people yourself would stand up to it is a valid reason to, uh, you know, you know, carry around a weapon. I guess. Yes. But th- that's not happening. And I would say that the genocide is basically they're doing the surgeries on these uh, individuals, yeah. and they later kill themselves. Yes. Well, that and the, by by even if they don't forty one percent themselves, you're talking about the sterilization. Of family legacy. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, your bloodlines will not continue. Yeah, the, well, like the main chemical they're using to basically stop all of the hormones that are going on in the young people's body. Yeah. It's the same stuff that they were giving to pedophiles who were released from prison, and they stopped because it was too inhumane. Yeah. And then these doctors will look these kids in the face after prescribing them hormone blockers after one psychiatric treatment and say, don't worry, it's reversible. Right. Yeah, right. Okay. That's why y'all are getting sued. Yeah, don't worry. We're just going to cut your wiener off now, and it'll be <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> uh, but, oh, we already saw her. <sighs> Do the facts bear it out? Is there really a Transformer genocide that we're just not privy to? Let's take a look. Okay. FBI stats on 2021 anti trans hate crimes do not support claims of genocide. Oh. Well, so you're saying all, it's all a lie? Yeah, it is a lie. <laughs> it's propaganda, which in essence is a lie. Yeah. Americans who claim to be Transformer were the victims of 271 hate crimes in 2021 mm -hmm. out of a country of about 340 million people. That they can count. Yeah. That's not really genocidal conditions, is it? Of the 177 cases where the offender's race was known, 81 offenders were black. 60 were white, 20 were Hispanic, and one was Asian. Still, even that data could be misleading as FBI statistics inflate the number of white hate crime perpetrators by counting most Hispanics and Arabs as white. To a limited extent, the data can be adjusted to treat Hispanic as a race separate from black and white, which the Daily Wire did in the above numbers, but in many cases, the ethnicity was not even recorded, forcing them to be treated as white. So ah. The layout there. Yeah, and how many murders and all this? Two. Two. That's it. Two. Most of the crimes were vandalism, which don't really victimize anybody. They just, just damage property or spray paint property. They're just dicks. Yeah. Got it. But, you know, if, if vandalism and loitering is insurrection, I suppose anything can be violence now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the words are violence. And then mm -hmm. silence is violence. They're 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 they're, they're saying that. Yep. W which is it? Is it violent, or if I say nothing, is it violent? Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I mean, this just proves our point that they're I out know. of their fucking mind, and they're not using logic and reason. They're yeah. literally acting on pure emotion, which is a it's irrational. Yeah. And meanwhile, if you actually took a look at like interracial hate crimes, like black on white hate crime is the largest list. It's usually about a quarter of a million every year. They focus on like the 40,000 black on, you know, white on black. Mm -hmm. And then over here, what does it say? There are 869 victims of anti Jewish hate crimes, by far the largest example of religious bigotry. Mm -hmm. Vastly outnumbers the Transformers crimes. And I wonder if it's the same thing for uh, Islam here in America as well. well. Uh, let's see. 190 victims of anti-Muslim incidents. Okay. All right. So, it's, it, I mean, listen, it's, with 330 million people, it's pretty yeah. low numbers, if yeah. you ask me. Two murders, two rap pays, 48 aggravated assault, simple assault was 87, intimidation, robbery, theft. Oh, I'm sorry. So a simple assault was the higher number. I thought it was vandalism. I must have misread that earlier. All right. It's all good. I actually... Didn't take a look at this earlier. I usually look at the text. So, but hey, it is what, what it is. It, I always admit what I'm wrong. And simple assault could be like you pushing somebody to get them away from you. Yeah. Well, nowadays, you know, if you can be accused of SA, you know, sexual assault by accidentally bumping somebody's butt on an elevator, because that's how much the yeah, term has was, been watered down. Wasn't there a guy in the news about three years back had to fight this long court battle? And uh, the whole thing, you know, basically revolved around a woman saying that he uh, groped her and did all kinds of horrible shit to her at, yeah. at some train station or bus station. It was in public. Something he literally like got the video camera, and it shows him walking with other people. He bumps into her and continues walking. That That is it. Yeah. Uh, this is how bad it's gotten. You can get so much attention, so much clout for being a victim. What was that British chick? She was like a 300-pound brimolo accused over 15, 15 different guys. dudes of rapé. Yep. Got all of them jail time until somebody finally looked and said, what are the odds that somebody is going to try to try to pin down this rhino-looking gunt 
more than once. I know. Let alone 15 different dudes. Yeah, and for, and thing. <clears throat> all right. You got to understand how the left argues and how they rationalize. You yeah. Have, <laughs> and I'm going to be doing a video on this, but you have the bell curve, right? Yeah. Now, typically, you t you get rid of like the five or ten percent on the f on the back end, five to ten percent on the front end, and then you have a majority of the people are in that uh, you know. I would say it's the standard uh, bell curve. That that usually covers between 80 and 90% of everyone in there. Yeah. What they like to do is they like to go to both ends of the bell curve and use them for examples. Always. Al always. They always do that. Yeah, w when you tell women like, hey, you know, if you wait until you're 35 to, to try to look for a decent man and, and you know settle down and have kids, it's probably not going to happen for you. You're going to have to freeze your eggs. Well, Rihanna got pregnant at 40. Mm -hmm. You're not Rihanna. <laughs> I know. And listen, it, I always bet the odds and I've always come back alive. Yeah. And if I was a betting man, I would not bet on a 40-year-old woman being able to carry a kid to term. Yeah. All right. Not without... An ass load of money and drama and stress. Yeah. When you're 40, I mean, as a 40 some odd year old dude, who wants to put up with that? It, I certainly don't. Not me. I'm going to be 40 in a month. Yeah, the big 4 0, huh? <laughs> Getting old, man. Yeah, 40 was a bad year for me. Yeah, well, yeah, I remember. Not, not good. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.